Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm starting off this vlog in such a cranky mood, but it's okay, we're gonna get past it, but let me vent for just like two seconds. And actually two seconds, not like 20 minutes, but it is Thursday, August 11th, 7.55 a.m. Just to catch you up on life if you didn't watch the last vlog, I've had COVID for the past almost two weeks. Um, I tested negative yesterday and I'm going out of town today. So I'm only working a partial day today and yet I have to go into the office. I've been working home for 10 days and today, the day that I'm going out of town, I have to go into the office. Obviously not by choice. My plan was to work from home today, obviously because I'm working a partial day and I could have worked longer if I could work from home because now I'm having to waste time driving to work and driving home early enough to then go to the airport. If I worked from home, I could have logged on like even earlier than now and I could have worked longer because I wouldn't have had to drive home after. Yet here I am in the driveway about to drive to work at eight o'clock in the morning. <sighs> I'm quite irritated. I'm so irritated, you guys. I'm really trying to just say, it's okay. Let's be grateful that we haven't had to go into the office for 10 days. Let's be grateful that I'm not working tomorrow. I'm going out of town. And yeah, I'm about to drive to work and blast some music because music always can change my mood. Music is like my soul. It, it does so much for me. So I'm about to go to work now early so that I can get as much work done and get in as many hours as I can today since I am leaving early. But yeah, we'll talk about today's plan and the weekend plan and everything whenever I get home from work. So I'll see you then. Okay, I just got home from work. Today was nuts, probably because it was a short day and anytime you have a short day, it just is bound to be a day where there's so much that has to get done. And it was that kind of day, but I did get everything done. So I feel good about it. I'm so glad I'm not working tomorrow. Looney, you wanna say hi, my girl? Say hi. Okay. But yeah, it's like 4.40ish right now. I laid all my stuff out last night and this morning that I wanted to bring. So I don't really need to pack, but I do need to like actually pack it and put it in something. We need to buy a suitcase set because we only have two suitcases. One's a huge one and the other one is like a small one I got at Target a long time ago. The small one's too big for like the amount of stuff I'm bringing because we're literally going to be gone for a day and a half, but it's too small for me and Vic to share it. And then if we share a suitcase, the big, big one is too big for the amount of clothes we're bringing. So it just, oh, Vic's bringing like a duffel bag. This one, he usually brings a duffel bag and then I'm just going to use my gym bag as my carry-on and we're not gonna check any bags and just carry them on because I really am bringing one outfit. So I need to pack this. I hope it all fits actually because this is actually a very small bag. I guess I should show y'all what I'm bringing. This is literally all I'm bringing. It looks like a lot and I'm actually not bringing all of this. I was gonna bring jeans to wear with this top or shorts because I didn't know which one but I think I'm just gonna do the shorts and call it a day and leave the jeans because I'm, I'm doing too much. We're literally gonna be gone for a day. And then all of my toiletries are here. Oh, and my underwear. All of my toiletries are there. That's it, minus those jeans. So it's really not a lot of stuff. Oh, and these shoes. Okay, I need to put these in a bag, but they'll actually fit. Okay, all right. And then I'm pretty much good to go. The only thing I need to get and make sure I have is like the extra stuff, the phone chargers, portable chargers, things like that. Okay, I'm all packed, ready to go. Bag, shoes, purse, Vic's packed. He's got his stuff over there. This weekend, Tori's staying at our house to watch Luna because she can't be left alone because she's nuts and she's needy and she got to eat. So she'll be fine here. Luna. <laughs> she looks crazy. <sighs> We're just waiting for our Uber that should be here in the next 10 minutes or so, 10, 15 minutes. So we're just chilling. I'm like so hot right now and I'm never hot. But hopefully it's a chill flight. It's raining in Georgia a little bit, 
My parents are already there, actually. My parents are going because my mom is obsessed with Vic and <laughs> anything he has, she will go to. And then she'll force my dad to go to it too because she doesn't go anywhere by herself. So my parents got there already this morning. Oh, I don't even think I mentioned, I'm dumb. I don't even think I mentioned where we're going and why. So we're going to Georgia Southern, which is where Vic played baseball in college. And we went there before, a couple years ago, he got, um, what's the word? Like inducted, is that the right word? Inducted into their hall of fame. So we went there for that a few years ago and there was like a big nice dinner, like banquet type situation. And then this time, we're going there because his college, I don't know if it's just the athletic department or just the baseball team or like if it's the whole school or something, but at their school, they're having a charity event and there's gonna be a home run derby. So they asked Vic to come participate. And he was like, of course. So yeah, we're just going today. And then the event is tomorrow on Friday. And then we're literally leaving Saturday to come back. So it's a real quick trip. I can't believe I didn't say that today has been a day so i don't even know what's happening there's so much going on in my head i'm hoping my camera doesn't fall over because it's literally just on an unstable bed and i hope the lighting's okay i feel like it's kind of dark in here but i've got the window open but anyways it's the next day we are in statesboro it's four o'clock i've done nothing all day as you can tell and my dad just went and got me mcdonald's which is like basically walking distance it's like really close so my dad went and got it for me and i'm just about to eat i would totally i was thinking i should do like a little mukbang right now and eat and just talk but since we got in so late last night i didn't do anything so i didn't charge my camera and my camera is literally about to die right now so i don't have time for that but i just wanted to give you guys a little update and also random does my hair look not look like it's growing i feel like it's growing i feel like it was stuck at the collarbone for so long my collarbone's way up here and now it's all the way down here now the titty's down here the nipple's here and i want it down here so we got a little while to go honestly <laughs> y'all can probably tell i'm like creeping back into heat styling my hair because like at this point i'm kind of over it part of me is like don't put heat on your hair so that your hair will grow faster and it'll be healthy and blah 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 really the whole point was for me to grow my hair faster because i want it back long again so i'm stuck between that mindset and then the mindset of like i just want to feel good about myself and do my hair and like quit this whole little goal of not putting heat on my hair I'm very torn, but as y'all can probably tell, I'm like, I'm like creeping towards heat styling my hair again. But that being said, I also wanna change. So I think I'm gonna change the color. I know I just got my hair done recently and honestly, I paid an arm and a leg, like two arms and two legs to get it done but i kind of want to change up my hair color i'll pop up pictures it's kind of like the trendy black girl ginger that's it's not even that trendy because every video i see about it is from like 2021 or 2020 so i'm i guess i'm behind but i really kind of want this not bright orange copper ginger but like a brown a brown ginger i kind of want to make my hair brown ginger but i don't want to go get it done because <laughs> the way i'm so broke <laughs> I'm so broke, I can't buy anything right now. So I think that I'm just gonna do it myself. And my hairstylist totally watched my vlog, so they're gonna see it. And I'll probably make a TikTok of it too. But like, I'm just broke right now. I, I honestly cannot afford to get my hair done. So I think I'm just gonna have fun with it and do it myself. I think I'm gonna go to Sally's. I'm gonna get some bleach. I'm gonna bleach my whole head. I'm gonna dye it and it will be fine because to be honest, I'm never going blonde again. So I'm not worried about like putting box dye on my hair and like then trying to go blonde after that, which is like torture. I've already done that. I'm never going blonde again. What I'm about to do is probably the lightest I'll ever be again. It's either going to be that or it's going to be black. So it's fine. So I think I'm going to do that in an upcoming vlog and TikTok. So be on the lookout, but I'm just about to eat my food real quick. All I got was some French fries of course, because french fries are my favorite food of all time. And I got nuggets, weird combo, but I, I do this everywhere. Chick-fil-A, Wendy's, McDonald's. When I get chicken nuggets, I dip them in ranch and sweet and sour sauce. Trust me, just try it, it's freaking delicious. But I'm about to eat this and then I'm gonna start showering and getting ready. So next time you see me, I won't look like this anymore and I'll look a little bit more snatched. Okay, update, crazy update. First, here's my outfit. 
Okay, so here's the update on what's happening. So Vic went to the field with his old teammate to like hang out and get ready for the event and eat or whatever. And I was just chilling here. Then I got up to get ready and Vic texted me and they fucking canceled the home run derby. They canceled the home run derby because of the weather. So this is what it looks like outside. So it, it has looked like it's gonna rain and the forecast wasn't looking too hot. And it did rain earlier today too. So, I mean, it's not raining right now. And now the forecast says that the rain percentage is like 30%. So we don't really know why they canceled it. But usually when it comes to baseball, they have like the radar thing and they're watching the radar to see what's coming. So if they canceled it, that means a storm is probably coming and will be here by the time the derby was supposed to happen. So they're not doing the derby anymore. And now it's just gonna be like an indoor event, more like a meet and greet for the players and things like that. And like, you know, the charity aspects of it will still continue, which is great. But now it's an indoor event. What is on my nail? And so I only packed one outfit because we literally got here last night. We're here today and we leave tomorrow. So it was a, a real quick trip. All I brought was one outfit for this event. I brought leggings and t-shirts to wear on the airplane. So this is all I had brought to wear, but this was the mindset that it was a outdoor baseball sporting event. Now it's an indoor like dinner situation. So now I don't feel like I'm dressed appropriately, but I don't know because everyone that was already planning on this, probably same thing, like they were gonna be dressed for an outdoor event. So hopefully I don't look crazy and everyone's like dressed nice because this is all I brought. Cut off, distressed AF jean shorts and my titties are out and my stomach's out and everything. So love that for me. But now it's 542, I'm ready to go. My parents are actually in the room across the hall. So yeah. That's the update, we're just hanging out. I just made a TikTok, get ready with me for this. So go watch it. I'm just gonna go chill with my parents in their room. So, yay. I'm gonna try to get some footage um, at the event. I'm not gonna bring my camera, but I'll get it on the phone. So, yay, insert that. It's the next day. We're actually about to leave the hotel. It's 1047 and checkout is at 11. So I'm just packing up. This is literally all I brought. This is like the least amount of stuff I've ever brought on a trip ever. But yeah, um, checkout's at 11, but our flight isn't until like 7.30 p.m. So, and we're on the same flight as my parents. We're on the same flight. So our plan is to leave here, go to like a late breakfast. Then we wanna go to the campus store that has all like the what's it called merch i guess <laughs> like the college clothes and all that stuff so we're gonna go there and buy a few things but vic did get this shirt from the charity event he got like a little gift bag i guess he's wearing one of the shirts but this shirt was too small for him like they didn't give him the right size so i got to keep this shirt and it's cute, so I like it. We got these for free, so that was nice. I'm gonna get, we're gonna get Vic's dad a shirt because I know he'll want like a dry fit shirt or a polo. And I texted him and asked and he did want one. So we're gonna go get him one and then see just what other stuff. I'm sure my mom's gonna buy stuff, she's crazy. But yeah, that's the plan. And then after that, I don't know, we're just gonna have to like drive around maybe. I could go to Ulta. There's a few things I actually need from Ulta. So I always use the Fenty foundation powder just to like run it all over my face because I don't wear liquid foundation like ever. But the one I have is way too light now because I've gotten tan. So now when I put it on, it makes me look very casket sharp. So I need to get a different color. And then maybe we'll see a movie if there's any movie movies out or something. I don't know. We have a lot of time to kill, so.
wanna be stuck in a spot Cause I don't really like what I got So I changed it Bit by bit It's not ungrateful Just being helpful for me and you Cause we gotta go our own way Gotta, gotta go our own way yeah. This was not a good stay Gotta, gotta go our own way Hi. Okay, so it's been a week since I last vlogged. And I totally intended on having this vlog up last weekend, and then I didn't. I really didn't want to skip a week after I had just returned to YouTube. Yet here we are. So I feel bad, but I didn't get it up. And instead of like really beating myself up over it, I decided it's fine. It'll go up next week. And I'm also vlogging today. Like I'm ending this vlog and then I'm, I'm immediately starting another vlog for this weekend. It's Saturday. I'm gonna vlog this weekend and then that one will be up like the very next weekend. So we are gonna have back-to-back -back vlogs again. Yay! And I have somewhat of an eventful weekend this weekend, which we'll talk about in the next vlog. But I hope this vlog was okay. I think a lot of it was on my phone and I don't remember how much footage I got. I'm really not good at vlogging in public places, so I tried my best. This might not be the longest vlog, I don't know at this point, but if it's not, so sorry. The next one should be a more regular vlog, but we'll see. Bitch, there's no telling, to be honest. I try to make them longer because I personally like longer vlogs, and some of you guys have told me that you like longer vlogs, so I'm trying. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Apologies Holding back I got history